If you like Chipotle, press the rice and beans emoji con. Mm. Oh yeah, come on, press the rice and beans. I gotta know if you like Chipotle. Let me see those rice and beans. Are you feeling good? Hey guys, welcome to Chipotle. I'm gonna have to talk loud because there's music and it's crowded. We are gonna be eating together here in the restaurant of Chipotle. Do you guys remember the last time I was here? This is me at Chipotle and I'm gonna eat all of this food, most likely. So, if you don't have something to eat, grab something to eat right now, welcome. I know this is like a sporadic beginning. This was my burrito. Was, okay, so it was wrapped up nice and finely. Actually, he struggled because I got a lot put in here. This is the brand new chorizo. Chorizo burrito, that's what it's called. I had to make sure. Chorizo is a type of meat, I believe. So, I'm. this is gonna be a little messy, just a fair warning. This here is a classic vegetarian rice and beans bowl. So this has guacamole. I'm gonna show you up close. Food porn. Guacamole, cheese, rice, black beans, sour cream, sweet corn. Did I say corn already? Okay, so this is a meal that I used to get all the time when I came to Chipotle. Mmm, it's very good. And of course I dropped some. So sweet, so good. The nice thing about Chipotle, it's unlimited refills. So how are you guys? All right, so today was the big day. This is um, what I'm having for dinner. It's about six o'clock here in Florida. Even though it's still light, Florida it doesn't get dark until like 9 p.m. Maybe eight. Oh, there goes a, duck, a muscovy duck with its babies. Oh my gosh. Mm. There's also some grilled peppers. They're kind of coated in sour cream right now. I asked for extra sour cream and extra guacamole because it's a vegetarian, has no meat. So, you know, for the calories to make up for it, you get it more from plants or cheese or dairy, you know, vegetarians, you have more options. Okay, some of you are dying. Okay, so... It's really embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> some of you are dying for me to try this burrito. I grab these Tabasco sauces, but you guys know me. I don't like spice, so I'm not going to eat them. I'm going to put these down over here. Luckily, they have like 20 over there, so it's not like I'm hogging them for the video. I was just about to think, like, uh, maybe I should put them back if I'm not going to use them. But there's only like... Five people here, and most people, as you can see, I'm the only one. Everyone else, there's no one down there either. Um, they're getting it to go. This doesn't do delivery. Imagine if Chipotle did delivery. All right, so this is my <laughs> sad burrito that fell apart. I don't even know how I'm gonna take the first bite. I'm gonna try. The meat is very good. I hope this is not copyright music. It's like playing on a loop. The meat is very, very, very flavorful. Look at my arms. I feel like I've lost. I feel like I've lost 20 pounds since being here. Yet, yeah. here in Florida, I've been eating non-stop food. Non-stop. Okay, you guys, so my parents are gone. 
We're still here in the, not the area, but like 40 minutes up the 30 minutes north. For a few more days. And they are gonna see me one more time, most likely. They said they have a card for me, they forgot it or something. Oh, one of you guys sent a letter. It was so good. Seeing my parents. Oh my god, there's literally... That's a duck. That's a huge duck. Oh, it's wagging its tail. Look at that. I was just walking around. Look at the duck, it's so cute. Oh my god. What's wrong with its wing? It's like hanging on the floor. Oh my god, it wants to be fed. Where are the babies? It was following the babies along here. Maybe he hid them in the bush. What's with this music? Wow. How am I gonna eat this massive burrito? And the um the tortilla, the burrito, the quesadilla. What is it? A tortilla. It's so gummy and chewy. There's this one video on YouTube called Mexican Women Try Chipotle for the real first time. Was that BuzzFeed? I'm so sorry, this is kind of messy. And I'm so sorry that the music's loud. This might be an ASMR. No, I don't do ASMR, so. Mm. This has a lot of cheese. I don't know if you can tell, but this is very, very, very cheesy and sour creamy. I swear I'm gonna write a book called Weight Loss by Eating Junk Food by Nikocado Avocado. My huge stomach is gone. For now. It's so loud. I honestly don't even know what to talk about. I got married today. I'm officially a married man. I am a married man. And I can't believe it. I can't. I mean, it's always felt like I have been, but just to be able to say like say the words. My husband. My husband. My husband. Can you hear me down there? My husband. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? My husband. I don't know how this is possible. Okay. There he is. Are you full? Get in there. <laughs> Speaking of my husband, he doesn't want to be on camera because of all you nasty sluts being so cruel to him. I don't know what to do now. Everyone was making fun of him in my, um, the mukbang before this. Thousands of brutal, disgusting, mean comments. And it makes me really sad. It's like he did nothing wrong. He's eating food. Thank you to Carly Steele. I mean, lots of people did help stand up, but I just, it came to my eye because I happen to know her personally. She, we talk. Mmm. Thank you, Carly, for the love and the support. And thank you, everyone else, as well. Not just Carly, but... This is so good. That meat is spicy. The chorizo. 
They're so far apart, bro. Very spicy. Film the duck. Film that duck. I know. I already filmed the duck. It's adorable and so cute. And oh my god. Wow. They're just walking around. And what's wrong with its feather? Its wings kind of flopping down over. Injury. Injury? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You think someone hurt it? Laura could have hurt itself. Hurt, okay. And they're not the best flyers. Um, you're here and they're not the best flyers. So I hope that's what was. Like, I can't stand seeing them be cool to little animals. Uh, that's one thing that gets me. Animal cruelty, animal suffering. I, I just don't... I don't understand. Oh, they're so sad. Look at its wing flopping down. Every animal needs care. And this chorizo is falling apart. Mm. Oh my god, the people, some of you guys be like, well, you're eating them right now. No, 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 that's okay. You can still eat them. It's just you have to take care of them first. There's un there's there's necessary things that need to be done, and then there's unnecessary things. Kicking an animal because you're bored is unnecessary. Animals eating other animals is how life goes on. So yeah, there's a difference. I did a double take because there's a guy coming in that looks like someone I went to college with. Yeah, I feel like I know. I didn't go to college with him, but he looks exactly like... He looks exactly like someone I knew in college. Honestly, this tastes like a cheese mountain. From the sour cream and the cheese, I don't even taste the beans and rice. This is cheese mountain. It's probably really bright for you to see. Here we go. Maybe this might be better. There's like no good lighting for this because the cheese is white and so it's all like boom. You get the idea. It's nothing but cheese. Do you guys, has this ever happened to you when you're out and about doing groceries, eating food at a restaurant, doing errands, running around, doing something? And you see someone, you're like, I think I know them. Would they remind you of someone that you know? There's so, there's so many humans out there that have traits of people you know. There's little trigger triggers in your mind that makes you think, who are you? Oh, this whole thing fell apart. Mm, cool. Drink, so let's go. And we have more sweet lemonade. Oh, time to go back to the cheese mountain. Everything is so cheesy. I was just telling you how dairy made my ears clog. And here I am eating a cheese mountain. This stuff, it's very tasty though. Mmm. Sending prayers out to my sister, so. They came to the wedding and everything, but our hanging out time was cut a little bit short. Well, they don't know what they're doing in Florida, and I have nothing to suggest, because when I lived here, like I was literally a homebody. I ate my fruit, and I stayed in the house, and I stayed in the house. Like I didn't have a car, I didn't have a job. I was 
broke. I didn't do anything. And so I don't know what to recommend to them. Like, oh, do this in Florida, do this, go here. <clears throat> they have a few things in mind, like they want to do a swamp tour, they go to the Everglades, or possibly a beach, but they're not really beach people. I mean, they are, but they're not. Anyways, long story short, my sister got stung by something or got a spider bite, and today she woke up and her whole face got swollen, her eyes. I feel so bad, it looked like someone like punched, you know when you get a swollen eye? Or her whole face, her fingers, everything was swollen. And so they're taking her to urgent care right now, like hospital or something. Sunny, please send out uh, Sister Avocado. You know, you know what I really appreciate? Uh, right, hashtag prayer, prayers for Sister Avocado. Or maybe Sissy Avocado. Prayers or Sister Avocado, something like that. I don't know, I'll tell her, cause you know, she watches my channel sometimes, and I'll tell her, hey, my little sloths uh, are praying for you by doing hashtag prayers for Sister Avocado. That's not a very good hashtag. Hashtags are supposed to be catchy and short, but I'm not promoting a campaign or anything. This is literally just for fun, so that'll be nice. I'll, I'll let her know, so I'll tell her to watch this, to look at the comments, not to watch it. I mean, she can watch it. I make no sense. I feel like it means straight up cheese. They didn't even put that much cheese on here. I think it's all the sour cream. It's like a dairy explosion. And I'm treating myself to Chipotle, which I haven't had for like a year. And I probably will never have again until I'm ever in the States again. So it's just like, you know. A lot of you guys were giving me a hard time because I was drinking alcohol with my, um, a few of my meals, like Applebee's and Chili's, and maybe Olive Garden, and maybe one other place. It's been like three times. And again, it's a celebratory. Do you know some people in the world, they'll have a drink every night with their dinner, five nights a week. Some red wine, a margarita. Like, it's not, some people are like, oh, you're an alcoholic. Do you know what that means? Google the definitions. It means it's a crippling obsession that takes over your life, that keeps you from functioning correctly. That's not me. I'm just like, oh, I want to enjoy myself a little more. Like, that's not alcoholism. I hate how that word is like, it's like racism. That word, people throw around, oh, you're racist. Oh, that's racism. Without even knowing what it means, I'm really just tearing the word apart, you know? I got called racist because I said, what did I say? Oh, I was like, I don't really like Colombian food. I think it's a little simple. They're like, that's so racist. Like, it's my food preference. <laughs> Do any of you dance in front of other people? I am. Because I just got married and I don't care. Lemonade has never tasted so good. Okay guys, so this was a quick lickety split mukbang because literally I just ate before coming here. But I was driving to go home and I was like, I can't decide if I'm hungry or not. And Orland's like, you've had a huge breakfast, a big plate of, big plate of Colombian food. We went to a Colombian restaurant. And then we went to Chick-fil-A after that, and now we're here. He's like, you're not hungry. I'm like, I know I'm not, I just be bored. You gotta see me try two new things I haven't had for like a year. Actually, no, I had Chipotle like five or six months ago, but they were, I didn't have no meat, no cheese, no dairy. It was like just the lettuce. Much. I mean, the vegetables too. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up so that I know. And don't forget to leave rice and beans on Mojikan so that I know that you like Chipotle too. And 
No I still haven't had, I haven't had Sofrita. Sofritas, and by the way, that's, um, you guys know I was vegan for a long time, and that's like something that all my vegan friends told me, oh my gosh, you really have to have the Sofritas. And I never got around to it. And I, I appreciate you being here. I hope you guys are nice in the comments today. I'll see you tomorrow. You know what's weird? It's like, I, I'm saying goodbye, but I don't wanna go yet. It's like, you know, you're, you're with a friend. You still want to spend time with that friend, but you don't know what to say. There's going to be some quiet spots. You need some rest of the mouth and the mind, but you still like being there with them, right? People in line. I think there's people. Nope, no one next to me yet. No one eats here, everyone takes it to go. But that's okay. Yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.